Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I am going over inventory and in QuickBooks Online. The more your business grows and the more challenging the accounting becomes, the easier it is to systematically create a mistake. If your business is a retail business or any business that carries inventory, if at the end of this video you feel like on top of all of the other tasks, this is the cherry on top of too much, this may be the point to start considering outsourcing. Many retail businesses immediately outsource as they know keeping track of all of the accounting on top of running a retail customer engaging style business is a lot to take on. This is the bookkeeper view of QuickBooks Online. If you are a business owner, feel free to check out my QuickBooks Online tutorials for business owners playlist for a better view of what QuickBooks Online will look like for you. To access the inventory and service lists, let's head over to the sales tab on the left hand side toolbar. Here you will have all of your accounts receivable tabs like customers, estimates, invoices, along with inventory. The products and services screen shows all entered inventory, any low stock and out of stock items. And if you scroll down, you will see the inventory details like the SKU codes whether an item is a product or a service, sales description, store price, and the item's cost, whether the item is taxable, the quantity you have on hand, reordering details, and any actions you may wish to take, like editing or deleting an item. You will also see products and services along with any sub products and services. To record a new product or service, click the green New button on the top right of your screen. Here you can select if it's an inventory item, non-inventory, a service, or a bundle of multiple products or services. For example, let's create a new service. In the detail screen, you can go ahead and name your service, select the category, select the income account type, and complete the form accordingly. When finished, click the green Save and Close button. Now let's record a product. Following the same steps as before, name your product, enter in any SKU details, select the category, enter the on hand details, and when you would like to reorder the item. Select the inventory asset account, and add in a description if you choose. Select the income account, and enter the sale price and enter the vendor purchasing info. When you are finished completely filling out this screen, click the green Save and Close button. You'll want to track and enter each inventory group of products your store sells. As you can see, this can become very time consuming and leave a lot of room for error. Most retail stores have a manager or the owner who records inventory every week and sends an inventory report to the bookkeeper or whoever handles the back-end processes. For more business resources, my online self-paced Home Bookkeeper Masterclass, Business Supplies, Gadgets, Must-Haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And for even more behind the scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, 
feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.